many patients will have more than one mutation. These diseases are thought to evolve as a result of sequential accumulation of additional mutations. But what has been completely unknown is whether it makes any difference as to whether mutation A precedes mutation B or whether they're the other way around and B comes first. That's unknown for any cancer, uh, in fact, and yet is a fairly fundamental question. And so we have been able to show that within the myeloproliferative neoplasms, order does matter. So if a patient has a JAK2 mutation followed by a mutation in another gene called TET2, um, the outlook, the behavior of that patient's disease and the nature of the disease is very different if the mutations are the other way around, that TET2 precedes JAK2. That's a fundamental observation and of broad relevance to cancer biology as a whole.